Video highlights from Dirt Track Speedway, presented by Fast Chefs by Actual Exchange. They're not just fast, they're first. FastChefs.com Hey everybody, it is Bucky Doran. Thanks for joining me tonight. Another edition of Dirt Track Speedway, presented by Fast Chefs by Axle Exchange. And we are live tonight here for Dirt Track Speedway's episode number six here at, uh, well, Dirt Track Speedway and in the background, Artifice Speedway. We'll have more details about what's going on with Artifice Speedway in just a little bit. Some new viewers checking in tonight, so I wanted to make sure everyone understood what Dirt Track Speedway is all about. It's a Dirt Track a lifestyle show for race fans and race teams in Iowa. And it isn't necessarily a results show, a video highlight show. Instead, we talk about the lifestyle things. And I try to find some interesting uh, storylines or wins and whatnot to feature and different classes. Tonight, we're going to be talking about a, a, a new division I've been following. But this is Dirt Track Speedway. Coming up on tonight's episode, In the Airs tonight will be our heat race conversation. Our Trophy Dash is going to be talking about the Fast Chefs Invitational, our first ever event back here at Artifice Speedway and how you as a fan can nominate your favorite driver or as a driver or pit crew member can nominate your favorite driver or drivers go ahead and nominate yourself so i don't care and the score a brand new drive shaft thanks to fast shafts at axle exchange pat fagan you're cool i love you thank you brother for helping out with that uh our first episode of artifice speedway that'll be coming up here soon in about uh, three weeks with more details in the trophy dash a main what's the point that's the a main conversation tonight in victory lane from the mountaintop That'll be all that and more on tonight's edition of Dirt Track Speedway, presented by Fast Shafts. For our heat races tonight, we're going to be talking about In the Airs tonight. Now, I've been following on Facebook a new series, well, at least new to me. I think they've been around for a little while, the American Iron Racing Series, or Airs, A-I-R-S, and mostly racing on dirt tracks in Iowa and across the borders as well. I know they have a few events, I think East Moline and Lancaster, Wisconsin, and whatnot. They do have one coming up this weekend at Hawkeye Downs. It's a makeup event from the earlier schedule. Now... Uh, this class is billed, if you go to their Facebook page, it's, quote, quote, cheap, easy, and fun division of racing. And when I first started watching this class, I kind of thought it was just a vintage class. And then I got to reading a little bit more and, and checking into the rules. And although it has a vintage car look, it's not a it's not a vintage car class. Now, this is what one of the cars looks like. This is uh, Dennis Eaton, and that car, uh, according to their Facebook page, says will be on the track soon. And if you look, it's got kind of a classic car look to it. But if you read the rules, it's, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge tech guy, so bear with me. And I may not get this nailed just right. So, Brian Gaddy, if you're listening, I apologize. Uh, but I think I'm going to be pretty close. It's somewhat modern chassis. I think there's uh, modifications made to, to fit these bodies. Now, this is... Uh, all steel bodies, according to the rules, from 1950 to 1979. There's some restrictions on some of those and whatnot. Uh, there's a series of other rules, too, about the car and the competition. But the biggest stress is affordable price tag uh, as far as the body and the car itself. As far as the on-track tr on competition... Uh, it's mainly about having fun. I, I love this. I was talking with Brian Getty a little bit via Facebook, just real brief, talking about uh, getting the schedule and whatnot. And I, I confirmed it, but one of the things that uh, I love about it is the fact that uh, in the airs, the American Iron Racing Series, uh, they don't give out a, like a, a thousand to win, 500 to win, 100 to win, and then lower amounts per second. What they asked the track that is hosting it, two pit passes for a driver and a crew member, and then each competitor gets 50 bucks. Ta-da, that's it. And this way, the goal there is is not to be too aggressive to get a better paycheck. It's just racing for fun, but also at the same time demonstrating respect for the other cars. Again, this is supposed to be a fun class. This is, a, this is a hobby class. That is all there is to it. And that's what I really love about it. Now, I'm an outsider looking in on the class, and I, I think that that's a very good assertion of what that class is all about and they do have some events coming up uh, this Friday night they're going to be doing a makeup event at the Hawkeye Downs 
uh, uh, Raceway in Cedar Rapids. Plus, I think it's a free grandstands night, too, on Friday night. Uh, their next dirt event is going to be coming up just across the border, Las uh, Lancaster, Wisconsin. Darkside Promotions is having an event on that. Uh, later on, uh, on June 25th, they're going to be down at the Benton County Speedway. I'm trying to get down there for that. And then July 1st at Maquoketa. Now, if you want to learn more about the American Iron Racing Series, which, again, is about fun, and I love this class, uh, get a hold of Ryan Gaddy. He's on Facebook. Send him a message. He'll give you, if you're a driver or is interested in becoming a car owner, uh, he'll give you the rules. If not, he can give you the other information. But thank you uh, to Brian and the crew for helping out with uh, giving me some information about the American Racing Series. In the airs tonight, our heat race conversation. So for our trophy dash, uh, talking about a uh, chance for drivers to win a a a, 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 a Good Lord. A drive shaft from Fast Shafts. They're not just fast, they're first. Make sure you get a hold of drive shaft king of the world, Pat Fagan, because uh, Fast Shafts can handle drive shafts, repair, new drive shafts, center sections for four nine-inch rear ends, yokes, and so much more. And they're going to be donating to the winner of our very first Fast Shafts Invitational, a new drive shaft. So I want to thank you for that. Now, drivers, you can get yourself nominated. Fans of your favorite drivers or crew members can nominate. Here's how you can get yourself nominated or your favorite driver nominated. Send an email to fastshafts at dirttrackspeedway.com. One email per or one entry per email. Make sure you include the driver's full name and the class of car that they race. I want to make sure it's a drive shaft that Pat Fagan can be able to put in and do that. And then uh, we're going to be drawing some entries over the next handful of shows. In fact, we're going to draw two in just a little bit and get them in on the drawing. Now, what's going to take place is we're going to, if you look in the background, Artifice Speedway. It's kind of a just kind of a backdrop, but it has more life to it that'll be coming in weeks and months to come. And we're going to be staging our very first ever race at Artifice Speedway. So what we're going to do is we're going to get six names at random over the next handful of weeks. And then on the night of the race, we're randomly going to assign one driver to each one of those six cars and stage the race. Whoever wins that night will be the winner of the first ever Fast Shafts Invitational. Oh, I got to draw the names, don't I? Yeah. So I got a random draw program from random.org. And all right. So there's this many emails. All right. Random. Number one. All right, so the first entry that we got, Shane Ebaugh out of Evansdale, stock car driver number 14. You are now invited to the Fast Shafts Invitational. And uh, run another one. All right, so that would be second to last one then. All right. And the second to last one would be Austin Schrage, a Northern Sport Mod driver. Number 14X. So apparently 14, the lucky number tonight. If you haven't bought your Powerball, make sure you include 14 in it tonight. Apparently is the lucky one. So congratulations, Shane Ebaugh and Austin Schrage. You two are in the Fast Shafts Invitational at Artifice Speedway. And that race will be coming up June 26th. That is our trophy dash for tonight, presented by Fast Shafts. So my A main conversation tonight is, what's the point? And there's been a ton of talk about... Uh, weekly racing and points chasing isn't uh, as big of a deal anymore, mainly because drivers want to float around or the point funds don't reward them. Uh, but I still follow the point funds or the points chasers no matter what. Not necessarily just because I think uh, they're important to the point that it defines a driver, because there's tons of drivers that don't run weekly points, but do a great job of putting on a great show for the fans. And wherever they go, there are uh, a very, very big threat to win but there are a couple of points that i really watch and kind of give a little more credence to uh the biggest one that i give a ton of love to is the one that jeff brogue started decades ago not to imply that jeff brogue you're old but you're about my age and i'm not young anymore uh, positively racing originally the all iowa points started off with the hawkeye racing news and eventually when jeff brogue left it came it disappeared for a little while but i think he was still doing it but po positively racing which by the way is a great website to kind of get uh, another perspective on lifestyle they have uh, a lot of race recaps but travel but anyway jeff spends tons of hours doing it and you go to positivelyracing.com and you'll find points click on it currently when i looked at it this afternoon denny woodworth was leading in the late model class hunter marriott for mods tyler soppy for uh, limited mods or sport mods b mods if you prefer shannon anderson uh for the hobbies four cylinders tyler thompson and then in the sprint cars 410 360 and 305 went brian brown thomas kennedy and caleb johnson respectively now there's another one that i've been just starting to pay attention to this year from Western Iowa Racing Results on Facebook, and they do a great job of promoting 
uh, different events that are going on on that side of the state. Also, a point fund that the drivers can get in on. Now, I think it's too late to get in for this year, but remember for next year. And it's a competition for all cars, all classes, all together. And tracks participate in it, and they've done a great job to get a year-end point fund. And I, this is the interesting thing that I saw when I was checking it out. Every Tuesday, they put out a new one at Western Iowa Racing Results. If you want, check it out on Facebook. But here's your top ten. I don't have the points, but our top seven. You have Brandon Nielsen at number one. He's a hobby driver. Jeff Fink at a hobby. Mike Nichols in a stock. Riley Pay uh, Payson, Sport Compact. Bob Moore in a modified. Uh, Drew Bargloff in a hobby. And then Tom Van Dyke in a sport mod. So there's seven different driver names in the top t seven and five different classes. So it's a unique way to look at points. So maybe they might not matter to some, but there are still a few that do care about points racing. I'm one of those who just finds it very fascinating to see, especially those type of points battles. So my victory lane speech tonight, talking about a... A note that I saw from Crawford County Speedway on Facebook. Now, they just recently ran the Deb Brash Memorial Race, and they got a thank you note. Now, a lot of drivers and fans would be quick to point out anything that they have issue with anybody. I don't care if it's a racetrack, a sanctioning body, a traveling series, a driver, or some guy that sold them beer. Now, I understand that you get frustrated, but you don't need to shout it from the mountaintop. Because, to be honest with you, those kind of conversations kind of get lulled over. And actually something that's more impactable uh, is this type of thing. Now this is a card that I think that uh, Kelly uh, Brash Young, who I believe is the daughter, if I'm not mistaken, of Debbie Brash, uh, sent a note. Had no intentions of taking any credit for it, but Crawford County Speedway felt the need to share it because uh, I won't read it, but I think it's really worth the read. And you go to their Facebook page, Crawford County Speedway, and it's posted there. But they wanted to commend uh, not just the track, but the announcer did a great job, the track officials, and the racing was great. And a note like that, just behind the scenes, can go a lot further than shouting from the mountaintops. The point, if someone is doing a great job, let them know, but don't necessarily get out there and say, hey, look at me, and I'm saying, you're doing a great job. It doesn't work like that, because at that point, it's about you. Just stop by and say hi. You'd be surprised how somebody's saying nice job as they see you for the first time in a long time. Somebody just did that to me a couple of weeks ago at the Independence Motor Speedway. Hey, I just want to thank you for what you're doing. It meant the world to me. I was having a crappy week all week, and whiners and complainers were dominating my life, and just them saying two words, nice job meant the world to me. Sometimes a private message can speak louder than someone yelling from the mountaintop. That's tonight's show with Dirt Track Speedway. Our next handful of shows will be the next three Mondays. Monday, uh, June 12th at 9 p.m., June 19th at 9 p.m., and then uh, the 26th, which is the night of the Fast Shafts Invitational, June 26th at 9 p.m. Everyone have a great night for Fast Shafts and Pat Fagan. My name is Bucky Doran. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Dirt Track Speedway.